All right, hello everybody, back again. It's been a little while since I made any videos. I recently just scored a uh, 2021 Multistrada V4S Touring. Um, and I also have in the background here an R1250 GS. Uh, that's a 2019, so it's a current model. They made a few updates for 2021, but it's basically the same bike. I'm gonna put them both on the scales. They're both basically in the same state of tune. Uh, in the sense that they both have a top case. Um, the BMW does have an, a Krapovic slip-on, uh, but it also has some Denali lights that will add a couple pounds. It, it's got a couple extra crash bars on it as well, but we're gonna be really close. Both bikes are filled to the brim, so we'll back out what the gas numbers mean um, and see which one weighs more. Go from there. Just a quick walk around here. This is a spoke wheel version of the Multistrada, which also would make it very comparable to the GS. I think the spokes are actually a little bit heavier than the cast wheels. Uh, mostly it's stock. Put the Enduro windscreen on it, but other than that, and in the top case, of course, but other than that, it's a stock motorcycle. Over here, bought this GS um, a little over a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago or so. I uh, really like these bikes. Um, I put the Denali lights on it. They're really nice. Sound bomb, sound bomb horn from Denali. Um, it's really a nice setup for the city because it's very loud. <laughs> Top case on this bike as well. So they're they're very similar. It does have the axle slip on. Um, that would did save maybe a couple pounds. I, I don't recall exactly what it was. But they're really close in their setup, so we'll see what they weigh. All right, I'm going to start with the GS first. Um, I have a good idea what this bike weighs already, but I will zoom up, zoom in with the camera on what it shows up at. Looks like about 613. Again, this is a completely full tank of gas. And I'm holding the bike up with the weight off of it, balancing it up. Yeah, it seems to be settling on 613. close enough that I don't have to adjust the scales. All right, same procedure. Just taking the full weight off of the motorcycle, balancing it with my hand. I know you can't see it, it's off camera, but I weigh everything exactly the same. Settling right at 578. Big difference in weight. So I just did the math on these two bikes. Uh, I had to make a little cheat sheet here. The V4 Ducati weighed 578 pounds. The 1250 GS weighed 613 pounds. It's a 35 pound difference. Um, and yeah, the GS has a little bit of extra stuff on it, but it's also got the lighter pipe. Uh, it's just a slip on, but there was a, a weight difference. Now if we, Factor in fuel, the GS weighs, uh, sorry, the GS holds 5.3 gallons, uh, which is 20 liters. That's about 44 pounds, 44.2. The V4 holds 22 liters, or 5.8 gallons, and that comes in at 48.4 pounds. So we, we've, uh, there's another 4.2 pound difference there. The, the two bikes weigh close to 40 pounds different. Um, that's 
quite a bit more than I would have guessed. Uh, you know, even if you factor in the, some of the other items here that the GS has, it would still, still 30 pound difference. That's a ton off-road. Uh, if you're actually taking these bikes off-road, I have not. I have a GS Adventure as well. Weighs about 50 pounds more than the, than the standard 1250. Um, that one I do take off-road. Got any questions or how I came up with my measurements? Uh, always shoot me a question in the comments below. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe and like the video. I'll try to be doing some ride impressions of these two bikes. Um, I, I've got close to a thousand miles on the V4 now, so I got a good feel of, of how it works. I'm not gonna say that I'm loving it way more in the GS. I think my opinion of the V4 is a little bit different than a lot of the reviews out there, but I will make some videos explaining exactly what I think about that.